Hey everyone, it's Sarah and I decided today I would film a get ready with me. Um, I am probably going to be doing a lot of stuff around the house today and possibly going out to get some stuff to work on that, but doing my makeup and looking cute, I don't know. It just makes me feel ready for the day. So why not, right? Um, I am starting out with my Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer with Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. I really like this. If you have um, dry skin or happen to live in a dry climate as I do, it seems to help out. I think some people tend to not like products like this. They feel it makes their skin a little bit greasy. I don't really mind that so much. Um, I'm not sure what it is about me, um, but I like, I like that kind of feel. <laughs> um, I put on lotion and then I put on body oil. I mean, I rub it in really well, but um, I really like that feeling of having something on my skin. Um, I really like to moisturize. Some people, it just drives them crazy to have that sensation of um, having any kind of a residue on their skin, I know, but and I, I think if you, I actually don't feel like it is too much of a heavy thing. I, I think when you're first applying it though, um, and, and it, I, I think you can kind of, this really is supposed to be a primer, but I have actually used this just with a little powder on top and concealer um, and kind of just used it as a BB cream. And then I'm going to go in, um, I have been using the Tarte Shape Tape as just my eye base. This is in the shade Fair. If I were going to use this just as a concealer, I would probably use a shade darker, but I do like sort of the whitening effect that I'm getting from this. This is a very light color. And um, this I would not use... Um, for my under eye area because it is a bit of a mattifying concealer. Um, so it is really perfect for an eye primer uh, because you do generally get a little bit of a oil buildup on your eyelids and that's why if you don't use a primer you tend to have your eyeshadow just kind of sliding off, disappearing, creasing. So this works so well. And it is a little bit for concealer. It seems like it's a little pricey, I guess. Um, I think it's $35, $36. It might, it might be less. I might be, I might be off there. I, I believe that is how much it costs. But if you compare it to other eye primers, it's really, I mean, I've had this one, I use it a lot and I've had this one since November. Um, so as an eye primer, I think it really, really holds up. Um, it will last you quite a while if that's what you're using it for. I mean, I think even as a concealer, it will last you a while. Um, So, and I just, I really like the whiting out um, the eye area before I use any sort of lighter colored shadows on it. Um, and then I'm really digging this crown palette. The crown palettes are really reasonably priced to start with. And then I got this in the edit sale from FabFitFun. Um, if you don't know what FabFitFun is, they have a subscription box 
um, that comes out every season. So uh, spring, summer, winter, fall, and it's $49.99. And it's, they have health, beauty, um, type goodies that, that um, come in a box. They're mostly subs the health, fashion, um, beauty type goodies. Most of them are surprises. Um, if you are an annual member, you will get to um, have a couple choices on some of the items. Um, for instance, this spring box, you got to choose um, the design on. There were these little clutch purses. You got to choose your design from three different designs. Uh, you also got to choose between um, a couple design, a couple different colors of earrings or bracelets. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm I'm really liking getting the boxes. Um, I the spring box was my second one, and there are also add-on items. And they just had what they called an edit sale, and during the edit sale, I I ordered quite a few items um, to beef up my professional kit and. I, for instance, the, the Lorac uh, Light Source 3-in-1 Illuminating Primer, this was 7 or either 7 or $9. This is normally $35. Um, I bought the Lorac, which I'm, I think I'm going to be using, um, mascara that has a primer built in. That was either 7 or $9. Tarte Mascaras. Seven dollars, um, really good deals. So I'll link my, I'll link my uh, code below. It, it was just, it, it was a lot of. There were a lot of products that were just a really, really good deal. So it, and it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, just bargain hunting. Um, I always enjoy that. So um, I think I'm gonna start out with this color right. Here it's kind of a nudey sort of little bit of a pink right here. Um, and it's, I think, a sort of a kind of a satiny, satiny color. And I'm gonna kind of pack it on just all over. To start out with. And I'm just using this brush is a brush that I received. It came in one of my, I want to say Anastasia palettes. I haven't really worked with this color too much. It looks it looks fairly matte. Yep, it seems to be pretty matte. I plan on working on my beauty room today. Um, it's mostly cleaned out. It was the sort of storage room, junk room, I hope. Oh, I hope you don't have to deal with a junk room. Junk rooms are no fun. My grandmother and my dad unfortunately passed away within a couple years of one another. So there was a lot of inherited stuff that we had to deal with. And just didn't know where to go with it. Um, 
So still trying to kind of sort that out, but it's, it's pretty much cleaned out now, just a few odds and ends. And now I sort of have to figure out where to go with everything that, or what I want to do with the room. Um, but hopefully it will be a really nice, pretty um, beauty area and filming area. That's what I'm going for. Okay, so now I want to go in with this. It's a, a pretty berry color. I know the, the lighting in here isn't the best. I actually have a light set up too. But right here, oh, right there, it's a berry color. Um, it's kind of a... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try with this brush. This is not the brush I would like, actually. Let's see if I can find the brush that I actually want in my, uh, here we go. I'm gonna go in with this, this little guy here. And Both sides. I'm really hoping that I can make a lot of progress on the beauty room. I, I don't know. I have, I think I've shown a lot of my front room filming, I think, and my try-ons and stuff. I have the kind of the pink and gold and kind of the blue couches um, going on. And I actually get a good number of compliments on that. Um, I'm probably looking at maybe trying to sell the house in a not too far distant future. So I may start transitioning over to more neutral colors I don't know. Um, and then this color right here has some flecks of gold in it. I'll swatch it if that even makes any difference in this light here. I hope the light comes off better. Um, ugh. I don't know. Ah, there we go. If we can even see it. Um, let me see if I can move my light closer if that will make any difference. Okay, I don't think that did anything really. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take that one, same brush, and go ahead and pat that on kind of at the sides here. It looks a bit of a hot mess at the moment. That's what blending is for. And so I'm gonna go back in with my little friend here that fortunately has a blender on the end. And then blend down. Every single time I've tried to film a makeup video thus far, this is why I need my filming room. Nothing is ever set up right. The lighting is always horrible. Camera usually gets knocked over. I just do not have a good setup yet for filming this kind of videos. Plenty of makeup looks will go out and people will ask me, what, what did you use on your eyes? Or, you know, did you watch a tutorial and do that? No, I have a channel. You should put a, a tutorial up of that eye look. I would, but it's a little harder than it, than it looks. 
Um, kudos to anybody who actually manages to get their rig set up to uh, to film because I'm I'm I think I'm just too much of a klutz, honestly. Filming makeup videos is I don't know maybe for maybe for some of y'all it's easy, but I always knock over the camera or a light or something. Right now I feel like you can't see what color I'm using. I don't know. Okay, so now um, this right here, this is just down from this turquoisey color. This is kind of a pretty, it has a slight lavender-y color to it. I'm gonna go in with this, and this is just and I'm going to pat this on the lid a bit. Have it on the lid. And then get a brush that I'm hoping is clean. I did clean some brushes with my nice new brush cleaner. Um, and then this one up here next to the one that we just used is a nice, um, oh, I don't know, ivory-ish sort of highlight shade. Just go under the brow bone. For highlight. I feel like we could do a little more blending here. And Rid of the fallout. Okay, for the liner, we'll just kind of freehand here. Like I got something in my eye. Oh no. Very hard to do this without covering up the camera there. Okay, I lost what I'm looking for. I just had it and now I lost it. Well, I'll try and use this, but this is not what I was looking for. I'm just going to grab a little hand mirror. Handy mirror. Not, I don't know that you would call this a hand mirror. I mean, it is a hand held mirror. I'm already 
messed it up. I mean, I did mess it up because I was trying not to block the camera. See, this is what I mean. The setup is just, just one hot mess. I think I kind of got it, but I don't feel like it <laughs> looks on that camera. I think this is what I was looking for. There it is. Little smudger. And if you um, have any issues when you're applying, when you're applying pencil liner, this could be your very best friend in the whole world. I just keep feeling it like I get flecks of something in my eye today. Um, or if you just like a really smoky looking liner. It's getting help you out quite a bit. And I didn't do a wing or anything like that. Um, just kind of, just kind of Nothing too special there. Um, now this is super duper awesome. This is the Lorac oh, Royal Treatment Primer and Mascara Duo. This stuff is, I think, the best mascara I've used, honestly. Um, the primer here, of course, you use first. And this stuff, I can build my lashes up to the point where, honestly, I mean, you hear this a lot, but in commercials, but I honestly feel like it almost looks like I am wearing fake lashes. This stuff is really good. Um, I honestly think it's... It's crazy good. Um, the brush, when I first saw it, I thought, Ugh, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that, but it, it really works. Um, I'm glad, really glad that I bought three, which was the limit. If FabFitFun has these again. Definitely going to buy more because I think I paid all of like nine bucks for this and I don't remember how much they are normally but I guarantee you it's got to be triple that you know this is good stuff um I don't know I just this is really good mascara loving it I mean I'll probably if I wind up not being able to replenish at all the sales, if, you know, keep up my new, my new mascara addiction here. I will probably, 
bite the bullet and go buy this at the Sephora or Nordstrom's or something. Um, I just hope that they have this <laughs> at the sales enough that I can feed my new addiction. I mean, honestly, this stuff is amazing. I mean, I don't know how well you can tell. Oh, I'll do the other eye. I just love this stuff. It's... This is some good mascara. And I know I've tried... Mascaras with the primer before. And I'm... I rarely use just one mascara. Um, I'm somebody who has usually at least two open mascaras in my bag. And I will have one that I like for thickening. And I'll have one that I like for lengthening. And I will go ahead and you know, you do a couple layers of one and then throw on a couple layers of the other. And I don't really mind that. Um, they're usually inexpensive drugstore mascaras. Um, because generally speaking, I don't notice a lot of difference between the higher end mascaras that I purchased and the drugstore brands. Um, I really don't, but this is one where I do think you're getting the bang for your buck. Um, I noticed online because after I purchased it, I looked at some reviews. I found some negative reviews of it it said it was gloppy and they, the people just didn't like it, um, which I don't know. They might have gotten a bad batch or something. I, I mean, there are always going to be bad reviews of things, I guess. Um, but um, I feel like maybe I'll just go in and do just on the... Very outer corner here. And then I'm gonna upper waterline. For a little depth. Um, and then Something I've been doing this is on this I have I'm not going to show you my flash palette because it's just it's broke. I haven't replaced it yet. So it's in a baggie. It's a mess. But on here on this brush I have um, it's kind of the coral color from my flash palette and I use this to kind of color correct and get rid of the purple cast under my eyes and then I blend that a little bit with my finger and then I think um, since I am not doing a whole lot today I'll probably 
Well, I can't. Oh, there. I'm open. I think I'll just go in with my Revlon airbrush effect. Oh, cheap foundation. Somewhere I have there. This is one of the brushes that I purchased from the edit sale. It's a tart brush, and these are usually actually I don't know how much they usually are. I know that they're more expensive than what I paid for them which I think was seven bucks. Um, I mostly bought them for my pro kit because they have this nice little scoop on them. Um, usually when I'm doing makeup for people, I use a lot of um, cream foundations. So I tend to use spatulas to get that out. Um, and I think it, I thought it was a nice idea to have that scoop on there, that little spatula on, on there. Not have to go through so many of those spatulas. Um, I do kind of wish that, well, I guess it's a blessing and a curse. I mean, if I wasn't able to, if I was able to buy more, other people would have been able to buy more and they probably would have run out. I don't know. I think I set myself an alarm for the edit sale. <laughs> so I would remember and I I got there. I actually read on the message boards some of the gals took a half day from work. People get really into those sales. very serious about their shopping. I mean, I can't blame them. It's a, it's a really good sale. A lot of good stuff. Oh. The dark circles. I get so tired of these. I mean, this is when I was, when I first started wearing makeup, this was the whole reason. This is the whole reason I started wearing makeup is to cover these. And being fair complected didn't really help. Although, I mean, some girls with dark skin have, you know, considerable dark circles as well, but I've heard it called an allergy mask. That's nice, isn't it? An allergy mask. You know, if I woke up one day and my dark circles were gone, I'm not sure what I would what I would do. I guess I guess everybody's got something though. I mean, I always had I I never really had other problems with my skin, so. 
I have that to be thankful for. Um, I just... The dark circles, they can be really hard to cover. And it's a kind of thing where people are always asking you if you're tired. Uh, did you get enough sleep? Are you sick? You know, um, it can get frustrating. <laughs> um, if you have a pimple, well, no, people do bother you if you have a pimple. If you, you know, if you have bad breakouts, people hassle you about your diet, you know. People, people can be very annoying. People think they're being helpful, but people can be very annoying. And it's the, you know, things that you're really like self-conscious about, the dark circles. Yeah, I sleep. I mean, yeah, I, I trust me. I take naps. They don't go away. And I am just putting my... Um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. Um, the concealer that I used was the Dermacol right here. This is the stuff you probably saw Facebook ads all over the place for it. It's the stuff that the girl would like mark on her face with a Sharpie and then cover it up with it. Um, but I really like this. This is really finely milled and especially for your under eye area. And I just apply it with this little fluffy um, eye brush. So, um, but yeah, people do not bother people about their acne. Do not bother people about their under eye circles. Unless you have a tip for covering that stuff up and they ask, just leave them alone. Just leave them alone. It's not nice. Um, let's see. I think this palette, I actually bought this because I thought, oh, look at the pretty eyeshadows, right? Some of them are... Okay, like these, um, the darker ones, and I might do a look with these sometime. Um, and the lighting in here is so bad. Um, but the darker ones are kind of okay. The lighter ones, the color payoff is not that good. But the blushes, um, I do like the blushes in here. The blush, actually there are basically two blushes and two highlighters. So I'm going to take the more purple-ish blush. And Where is my damp one? Ah. And the highlight, this one. I had to grab my lippies. Um, all right. And then this is MAC. Just wonderful.
And this is NYX Soft Matte cream, Lip Cream in Sydney. Kind of a pale nude. And then I'm just going to throw some Dazzle Glass in Rags to Riches over it. And then I think I forgot to powder. I did. I forgot to powder. Can't have that. Can't go around all oily. That's no fun. I'll be so judgy when I go to Home Depot or Lowe's. I got the Lowe's. I don't usually go to Home Depot. But you know what? Whenever I go to Lowe's, I usually have a guy come up to me and tell me how good I smell. I told that to my mom and she says, you know what? You probably are the best smelling person in Lowe's. Guys usually don't find good smelling people in Lowe's. Okay, so if you want a, like a compliment, go to Lowe's. Okay, and this is just my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Pet Setting Powder. Petting Souder. That sounds bad. Oh, I got brush hair. What's funny is I went out yesterday and I did my makeup in. I went out and got my new glasses. My new glasses. They're right here. Look very studious, right? So I went out and got my new glasses and I put my glasses on and I was trying them on and marveling in the store about how well I could see. And I look at myself in the mirror and I had like a little brush hair right there. And it had actually been about three hours since I had done my makeup. So I had gone around for three hours with a little makeup brush hair on my forehead. And no one had told me. But if you hung in for this full entire Sadly, I'm thinking this is going to wind up being really poorly lit, and I don't even know if I'm going to wind up posting it, but thank you so much. Um, please like, subscribe, and hit the notify button, and I promise, promise, promise that I am working on my beauty room, and I will have better lit, better set up videos coming soon. I actually also have my Transcend uh, unboxing and a couple other things that I will be getting up for you very shortly. I hope you have a really wonderful weekend and a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.